Hey guys, it's Craig here, aka the NWF. Welcome back to the channel. I was working from home recently when I got struck by inspiration. I recently picked up the Elite 96 Ilya Dragunov from Amazon UK and after reviewing him in a recent video, I still had him stood on my desk. The more I looked, the more it got me thinking of custom possibilities. So I jumped back on Amazon and ordered myself a few more. My first thought was to replicate his gear worn when he climbed the proverbial mountain and became NXT UK Champion by defeating Walter back in August 2021 at NXT TakeOver 36. Shida Gear created these trunks and also created the ones seen on the official release. When reviewing the Elite 96, we noticed some inaccuracies with the gear, and I can't just let that slide, so we're going to sort that today as well. Here are the parts that we're going to be using for this one, with my aim to reuse as much as possible across two different customs. The crotch piece from this Elite 32 Cody Rhodes is going to be perfect. As well as cracking the torso, we'll be using acetone to remove the designs. The torso, arms, head and legs from Dragonov will go towards the title winning custom. But the crotch piece isn't going to waste. I'm going to pair it up with the torso and arms and head from this Elite 92 Adam Cole to form the beginnings of a new custom figure that I'll share in the coming weeks. The plan is to swap my custom boots onto the official release. To make sure the scale matches, I'll need to swap out the calves, so for that, I'll replace them with the shorter ones from the Elite 92 Cole figure to give us the accurate height that we need. I've created the decals in Photoshop and printed onto clear decal paper. All that's left for us to do is apply them. After laying down the decals, I've repainted the waistband and then sealed with a matte spray. Let's check it out as part of the finished custom. I'm really happy with how this one's turned out. Not the most complex custom in the world, but it does exactly what I wanted it to do. Mattel's part choices for the official release were perfect for this, so we didn't need to mess with the formula at all. Like they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I've painted the designs onto the boots, so they're also match accurate to go with the new crotch piece that we've added. Easily the trickiest part of this one, but they've come out really well, and the red pops nicely. I've repainted the hair to reflect the blonder look that Dragunov has in real life, and the jobs are good and on this one. With this fix up, I wanted to blend the official release with the look that I'd achieved with my custom Dragunov. I removed the lower legs and replaced them with the Elite 92 Adam Cole calves after painting the socks in place. I added the painted boots from my custom, and height-wise, I'm really happy. Now I said I couldn't live with the trunk inaccuracies, and I haven't. I removed the logo from the back and replaced with one of my custom decals, also adding the colour and extra black stripes on the side of the trunks to remedy this one. I'm so much happier with this now, and my original Dragunov custom will live on in my collection as part of this fix-up. Be sure to let me know what you think of these two in the comments below. Which one of them is your favourite and why? As always, thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification button so you don't miss out on the next video. Until next time, stay safe, see ya.